Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learn with Yasu. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss the key answers of today's computer science midterm examination paper. I hope that you all have done your computer science midterm examination paper very well. At the same time, I just at a guess I can say that you guys would have definitely made mistake in 9th and 10th question of MCQ. Okay, because these questions were asked with respect to your programs. And also, I was really shocked that the very first time they had they have given 15 MCQ questions. Okay, before it was giving like 5 to 10 MCQ questions, but this time they have given 15 MCQ questions. So guys, let us discuss the answers now. The first main you had is MCQ. First question. Which of the following is a collection of parallel wires that form a pathway to carry address, data and control signals? The correct answer is option C, bus. Second question. Which of the following is a small chip on the motherboard that holds a set of instructions to load the hardware setting required to activate various devices? The correct option is option A, BIOS. Third question. Complementary law states that. So the correct answer is option C. Fourth question, involution law states that the correct option is option D. And the fifth question, what are the inputs for getting the output of the following gates as zero? So guys, whenever they have asked you question like this, please draw the truth table. And if you draw the truth table, why I'm saying this? Because when you draw the truth table, it will be very easy for you guys to answer the question. Okay. So with the reference with your truth table now, you can easily answer the question. Like... This is the NAND gate. Okay, so X column, Y column, X into Y, and NAND is the complement of AND gate. Okay, so here what they have said, what are the inputs for getting the output of the following gate as zero? So you are getting output as zero, but what are the inputs here? The inputs are one and one. Okay, next question: What are the values of two input NOR gate if the input is one? Again. I suggest to that please draw the truth table it will be very easy for you guys to answer the question first of all draw the column of x draw the column of y then draw the or gate because nor is what in the question they have asked nor so nor is the complement of or gate okay so here x plus y x plus y bar they are saying that if the output is one so what are the inputs the inputs are zero and zero okay seventh question Statement A, a stack is ordered collection of items where an item is inserted at one end called the rear and an existing item is removed at the other end called the front. Statement B, stack is an example for linear data structure. So the correct answer for this question is option B, A is false, that is statement A is false and statement B is true. Okay. Eighth question, the uh, answer is option A, both A and B are true. Ninth question. Identify the syntax error in the following program segment class mid. Okay. Now, here the correct answer is option C error due to missing public access specifier. So, why? Because in C without specifying an access specifier, class members and private class members will be private by default. Okay. If they have not mentioned public, then of course it is private then of course it is private okay to access uh, class members from outside such as in the main function they should be explicitly marked as public understanding so the answer is error due to missing public access specifier they haven't mentioned the public spe access specifier here because of that it is a uh, it is a error in this question next identify the ar array of objects in the following program segment class employee the correct answer for this question is option D supervisor 10 because this option declares an array of 10 objects of the employee class called supervisors. Okay. 11th question. The answer is option D sub question second sub question third and fourth are correct. 12th question C++ implements function overloading through polymorphism option B is the correct answer. 13th question answer is option B parameterized 14th question answer is option c public 15th question answer is abstract class fill in the blanks choosing the appropriate answers 16th answer is 16th answer you have okay that is clock speed 17th answer is gates 18th answer is nod 19th answer is vertices and 20th question is 
ट्वेंटी एथ आंसर एज फंक्शन ओके नैक्स्ट यू हेव पार्ट बी आंसर एनी फोर क्वेश्चन ईज क्वेश्चन कैरीज टू मार्क्स ट्वेंटी सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वॉट इज मेड बाई टोटोलॉजी एंड फैलसी ओके सो इफ द रिजल्ट ऑफ एनी लॉजिकल स्टेटमेंट और एक्सप्रेशन इज ऑलवेज ट्रू और वन इट इज कॉल्ड एज टोटोलॉजी वेर एज इफ द रिजल्ट ऑफ एनी लॉजिकल स्टेटमेंट और एक्सप्रेशन इज ऑलवेज फॉल्स और जीरो इट इज कॉल्ड फैलसी ओके सो नेक्स्ट यू हैव इज ट्वेंटी थर्ड क्वेश्चन प्रूफ एज एब्रिकली दैट एक्स प्लस एक्स बार वाई इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स प्लस वाई नो यू हैव टू ओनली प्रूव द एल एच एस साइड सो आई हैव रिटर्न द आंसर हियर इफ यू कुड सी हियर यू हैव टू यूज कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री लॉ इन दिस क्वेश्चन ओके नेक्स्ट रियलाइज एंड गेट यूजिंग नैंड गेट ट्वेंटी फोर्थ क्वेश्चन आंसर इज हियर ओके नैंड टू एंड लॉजिक गेट राइट थ्रू टेबल एंड सैंडेड सिंबल ऑफ ऑर गेट ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन इज हियर दिस इज द थ्रू टेबल ऑफ ऑर गेट एंड दिस इज द लॉजिकल गेट ऑफ ऑर ओके द नेक्स्ट मेन यू हैव पार्ट सी आंसर एनी फोर क्वेश्चन ईच क्वेश्चन कैरीज थ्री मार्क्स वॉट इज स्लॉट मैंशन एनी टाइप्स ऑफ स्लॉट्स थर्टी एथ क्वेश्चन वॉट इज पोर्ट एक्सप्लेन सीरियल पोर्ट वॉट इज राइट डेफिनेशन लॉजिक डायग्राम एंड थ्रू टेबल फॉर नॉट एंड गेट सो द आंसर फॉर दैट इज हियर थ्रू टेबल फॉर एंड गेट एंड दिस इज द लॉजिक फॉर एंड गेट लॉजिक डायग्राम फॉर एंड गेट ओके The next one, what is primitive data structure? Give any two examples. These questions are very easy, guys. I hope that you all have done these questions. Part D. Answer any four questions. Each question carries five marks. Okay. So here, write an algorithm to perform binary search method to search for an element. So this is the algorithm. If you could see here, thirty fifth question. algorithm to search an element using binary search technique okay next explain the characteristics not that okay sorry uh explain the operations performed on stack on, on stack write the applications of oops explain the following data abstraction data encapsulation polymorphism dynamic bending and message passing okay the next and the last main was answer in two questions each question carries five marks using k map simplify the following expression in four variables w x y and z so the answer for the 42 for the second question is over here this is the answer of a truth table first of all you have octet from map rolling you have octet you have quad or two pairs okay You can also make two pairs, or you can also make quad one. Therefore, the final reduced SOP form is Z plus X Y. From map rolling, you have from octet one, from quad one. Okay, or else you can write octet one or pair one or pair two. Like that also. If you do, it is correct. Okay. The next, given the Boolean function f a comma b comma c comma d is equal to summation zero. Comma two, comma four, comma six, comma eight, comma nine, comma ten, com comma twelve, comma eleven, comma thirteen, comma fourteen, comma fifteen. Reduce it by using K map. Okay, so the answer is here. You could do by even that method, even this by method. Does both are same. So if you have done quad one, if you have got quad one, octet one, and quad two is also correct. And if you have got quad one. Pair two, pair one. This is also correct. Okay. So guys, this were your key answers for your computer science midterm examination paper of today. So please do comment how much you have got out of seventy in today's computer science midterm paper. And if you guys want me to teach any of the topic in CS, please do comment in the comment section below. Thank you, guys. Oh, 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 o